we're here at Glendalough Nature Preserve in this really lovely late autumn day, and this is the perfect time of year to look for mushrooms. One of the most common types of fungi or mushrooms that you'll encounter if you're going on a nice walk in the woods are fungi that are associated with trees or stumps like this, and these are wood decaying fungi. And so you can see here all these nice sets of mushrooms, but what you don't see is the vast majority of the fungus is actually inside the tree, and that is called a mycelium. And at certain points where the weather is good, the fruiting body or the mushroom will come out of the tree and that's what you see. In this particular case, this is an annual mushroom, meaning that it will come back year after year from the mycelium within the tree, but their soft fleshy body here. This is the honey fungus, Amalaria oysterea. And so this is a really nice example where you can see some of the caps overlapping and you can see the white stuff here are the spores of the mushroom. As they open up, it exposes the gills as well as the stipe, and then certain areas here where the cap at attached to the stipe is the annulus. And all of these features can be really diagnostic for when you want to identify the, mung the fungus either in the field or most likely at home. Here we have one of the most iconic of all the mushrooms. This is the fly agaric or Amanita muscara. You might recognize it on your emoji keyboard based on the really bright red color and then you have some of the nice white spots on it. You might also recognize it from your favorite video game, Super Mario Brothers. And so when you're out walking on the trail, this is really apparent due to the really beautiful red cap and then sometimes you have these white spots. But not only is this just beautiful to look at, but it's also really important in forest ecosystems. And what you don't see is that the vast majority of this fungus is underground, helping the trees get nutrients from the soils, are also known as mycorrhizal fungi. Almost all plants that you see within a forest or an agricultural setting or wherever you are do have these relationships with plants, but you just don't see them because the vast majority of them are underground. And so the next time you see this really beautiful fly agaric fungus, just note that not only is it pretty to look at, but they're really helping all the plants around them. Fungi come in all different shapes and sizes. And often if you're going on to like a walk in the woods or if you're just going around a walk in the city or like a park, you're probably stepping over more than you know. And sometimes you have to get real low in order to see just the variety that's out there. So for example, we can see a really small cup-shaped fungus here attached to a dry leaf. Or you can see these tiny mushrooms that are attached to a decomposing leaf. But the one that I really wanted to talk about here is this one. This is a beautiful purple mushroom called the amethyst deceiver or Lacaria amethystina. And so it's called the deceiver because it can change whether it's wet or dry, young or old, the color is really variable. And so in this case, you can see it's a really beautiful purple color, but here on the top of the cap, you can see it's starting to turn white. And so they are really deceptive. But if you get used to them, you can start to see them everywhere and they just come in all sorts of different colors. We have a couple of really nice examples here. And so you can see that they're all embedded with moss associated with this tree. And these are called webcaps or cortinarius. And they get their name webcap because you can see underneath where the gills attach to the stipe, there's this really thin veil or it looks kind of like a cobweb or a spider web, which is where it gets the name web cap. And what's really interesting about these particular ones is that you really have to look at the really young mushrooms in order to see the fully exposed veil underneath. But because as they get older, you can see how the veil will start to come apart. And if you don't have that critical characteristic, it's kind of hard to tell what they are. Here we're in kind of a dark, gloomy understory and we have this really lovely stump that's fallen over and you can see this really bright structure that's just sticking out of it. And so this is an example of a shelf fungus. And so they come in many different shapes and colors and just sizes. And so 
These shelf fungi are decomposers, or again, decaying a lot of this wood. There's many different types of names for them. They can be polypores, they can be conchs, shelf fungi, or bracket fungi. And in this one, it, little bits of it have fallen off here. And so you can see it's really white, and details on it, you can see the mini pores on the bottom. And if you flip it, it has this really nice green color, which is caused by an algae, and not necessarily the fungus itself.